We're kind of living in limbo right now on the Pokemon TCG Live, where the cool new set Twilight Masquerade doesn't release until next week, and unless you're going to the Los Angeles Regional Championships, there's not a ton of incentive to grind out the sweatiest decks in standard format, which can lead to some pretty funny outcomes on stream, like playing Miss Magius for five hours straight. Now I know that this deck is not very good, okay? And it gets completely overshadowed by Dragapult EX just next week. But I worked really hard for these wins on stream today, and my god, I'm gonna show them off. If for no other reason, just to flex how often I attacked with Radiant Alakazam, which is not something you get to see every day. The idea of this deck is to spread a ton of damage on your opponent's board by attacking with Miss Magius over and over again. It's got the Eerie Voice attack, which places two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon for just one Psychic Energy. And then it also has the Spiteful Magic ability, which reads if this Pokemon is at full HP and is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, you get to place eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Combined with Vengeful Punch, which places four damage counters on a Pokemon that knocks out the card that it's attached to, you can place up to 12 damage counters on an attacking Pokemon, and those damage counters add up really fast. You can fix all of the damage counter placements just right with Radiant Alakazam's Painful Spoons ability, and then if you need to deal a lot of damage to the active, we've got Luxray with the Wild Charge Attack, which can do 180 damage for just one reversal energy, which will pretty much always be active since you're spreading damage and not taking knockouts, so you'll pretty much always be losing until you make that epic comeback and win. That's why this deck plays three copies of Countercatcher, as you'll always want to be disruptive, dragging up Pokemon that aren't supposed to be in the active spot, ionoing your opponent to limit their hand size, and then using Crushing Hammer to remove energy from your opponent's Pokemon too. If you can win games with this deck, props to you. It's pretty tough to squeak out wins. But when it does win, it's freaking sick. So I'm excited to show off this deck in action. But before we get to the gameplay, let's hear a word from my sponsor, Full Grip Games. FullGripGames.com is the best place to buy Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. We've got super fast shipping and top of the line grading. You can rest assured you're getting the best service possible when you shop at FullGripGames.com. Twilight Masquerade sealed product and singles are also available for pre-order now at FullGripGames. So head over to FullGripGames.com and place an order today. If you've got some extra cards lying around your house that are maybe crowding up your kitchen table like they do at mine, then also make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles here at the shop and selling your extra cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. Thank you so much for buying and selling at FullGripGames.com. Is this like Turbo Moon or something? Is that what I'm seeing? All right, we got a pretty pretty good opening hand. I saw Darkness Energy and Pokestop, so. Got a Mistrevious. We got Tumus Magius, Vengeful Punch, Reversal Energy. Cool. Let's go get these guys. And then we could do that. And honestly, probably just going to attach Vengeful Punch and Retreat. Into it and then pass and kind of see what my opponent does turn one. I like keeping the Cleffa because I've got Ultra Ball Reversal in my hand. So if my opponent does decide to take a turn one knockout and I decide that I want to respond with... Luxray, I can. So that's why I'm keeping the Cleffa. It looks like it is a Roaring Moon deck. Oh, yeah, Turbo Moon. This matchup should be free. All right. This is going to be, I'm saying it, this is a free matchup. All right. This is this one. Simple. We got everything we could possibly want. Look, there's a Squawk, there's Moons. There's Mew. It's as good as it gets. 
Look how many different targets I have. Oh no, they're not gonna gouge, but like, there's a bunch of two prizers out here. They're probably just gonna attack with this guy, but this guy's gonna get eaten up pretty quick. That's okay. The thing that is really good for us about the moon deck is that they don't have too many tricks that they can play, right? They're just a deck that tries to attack very quickly. So that doesn't really matter to us. I could respond to this Roaring Moon with Luxray. I could just go like Luxray, Countercatcher, swing into a Roaring Moon with... Like, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let's see what my top deck is. Just getting some damage on the board would feel nice. Top deck of Psychic. Kind of like getting in there with Luxray while I have it. Why not? If I could find Countercatcher or something, that'd be really sick. So we'll do that. Do that. Do that. And incisors for five big ones. Find Crushing Hammer. Let's... I bet you I find a counter catcher right here. Bet. That'll do. Okay. Prime Catcher up the moon. Artisan. Do that. Get me another mischievous. Crushing hammer. Yo, let's go. And do I care to move that damage counters anywhere? Not yet. Let's just hold here and wild charge. For 180. Cool. That's good. That's good. Yeah. You don't actually want to take a knockout because losing is winning. Losing is winning, folks. You want to keep the counter... You want to keep the, the reversal energies and the counter catchers live. No, 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 no. It's not a race like that, you know? You're not, you're not like... This deck is not trying to go, like, 2, 4, 6 and race to the win. That's not what this deck's trying to do. This deck is trying to build up damage and then go, like, swoosh and then take all your prizes at once, right? You want to keep cards like Iono and, and Countercatcher and Reversal Energy, like, in your favor for as long as possible. Like here we can reversal again. It's very good. We've got Iono. Iono, me to six, them to four. See, like we don't want to be going four to four. That kind of stuff. Bench this. I think I want to try and keep that reversal live in the deck. For Luxray again. So we're going to try and go for a Psychic Energy. Just Iono. It's a little bit greedy. But it's fine. Nah, we get it every time. Easy. So we got this guy. Nest Ball. Get another Bidoof. Psychic. Incisors. Oh, yeah! Easy mode. All right. Painful spoons. Remove the damage off. He 
here. Put that down. And eerie voice. Sure. And then they've got Prime Catcher. That's fine. They're always going to have Prime Catcher once. Sada. We'll just go spread again. And we're trying to map out our six prizes, right? So, like, we've got. The Roaring Moon on the bench, Squawkabilly, Milling a Boss is good. We like that. We can go Countercatcher up that Roaring Moon on their bench and see if we can stick it. Excellent. We've got Rod. You, you. Yeah, you two back in. All right, since they didn't hit into my active, I guess I need to start putting that damage back onto the Roaring Moon now. And then I am going to need to Luxray again. Okay, we'll do that. There, get the Alakazam. I can attach to the Alakazam just so that I have that option. And incisors. We want Crushing Hammer. And then Iono. I guess I can Ultra Ball away these and be brought one more time and then we've got Iono thank you Jay Belanti for the sub in the 17 months okay thin those final answer And then slap that down, and I don't know. And there we go. It's the fun stuff. Crushing hammer. Dang it. Counter catcher. Painful spoons. Yeah, kind of regretting moving that damage counter. Well, I mean, in hindsight, I am. If they had swung into the Miss Magius with that Roaring Moon, then I would not be regretting it, but it's fine. Eerie Voice. We spread again. We say, please hit into my guy. Please. And then I should be able to, like... See, do they have to retreat? They do. Okay, so then I can counter catch her again. They have vengeance fletching. They knock themselves out. Which is good. So we take a prize. They go to two left. I go to five. I can take another two on the Roaring Moon there. And I've got Iono. So then we send up Cleffa. But then I need to find out. Here's Luxray again, so he's good. Um, Luxray is good. If I go Luxray... It's fine. I think we just slam the Luxray while we have it. And then... I think 
I think I want to save the counter catcher for game. Because it doesn't really matter who I hit. Because I think I'm trying to... I think I'm trying to attack with Miss Magius here. Let's just Diana. Okay, we found the counter stadium, which is great. And the psychic energy. And then we incisors. And we got the reversal too. It's very good. Ultra ball away. These. Take a look at what I've got left in the deck. It's just counter catcher and Turo. Turo is good. It could make a difference. Fail that. And then incisors again. And then we want to go into Miss Magius. We want to Painful Spoons. I think we say like, all right, they come up with Roaring Moon. They knock themselves out. So we have to say... We need them to knock themselves out. That's fine. And then we go counter catch a reversal game. So we do that. I think. Maybe it was correct to just, well, tough. I don't know. We'll see. They've got the stop. They've got Radiant Greninja. One card in hand. Double Dark Patch off the stop. It's pretty good. I've got three prizes left. I just need them to hit into the Miss Magius. That's it. So long as they hit into Miss Magius, I win. Right? Well, no, because I can't counter catch her, right? But, hmm. Can't counter catcher. Yes, I can counter catcher because they're going to one. Yes, yes, yes. And I go to two, and then I counter catcher game. Yep. All right. That's the that's the plan. No, you boss. No. You sack, bro. And this is what's up. This is what's wrong with the whole deck. This is what's wrong with the whole freaking deck, bro. Is that you just need them to not boss. And they always do. All right, here we go. We can still win, but goodness, I. We could still win. But how annoying is that? Um, okay. Crushing hammer. This hammer hits. If that hammer hits, we're so insane. Okay. You think they're down all their dark patch? Yes, they are. They might not have it. So we say painful spoons. I could turro painful spoons again. Yeah. Painful spoons. And then we go. Super odd the buddy back in. And then we are 
tree here. And I think it's not correct to use counter catcher. I was, I was thinking like they're down all four. They're down all four patch. So counter catcher doesn't really matter. They would need to Sada. But the thing is, if they were tree, they could get me out of win if yeah. So I think I have to keep the counter catcher for win next turn. I I think I have to keep the counter for potential win next turn. They do have nine energy accounted for, but I'm about to put two in the discard pile. They could Sada, though. Okay. But then, like, what if they just retreat the moon and buy themselves more time? All right, we're bringing up the bird. Fine. If they motivate, I should win because I can just knock out the squawk for game with with my uh, my fella. They had the Sada. Oh my gosh. Don't freaking go! Woo! <laughs> Crazy, bro. What am I? What? What? What do we got going? Is this Tusk Mill? I can't beat the Tusk deck, right? I think it's an auto loss. You just swing with Agassiz. <laughs> well, what if they just don't have a big hand? You know, I think I'm gonna like set up like normal. Yeah, yeah. I'll get like a Badoof. Yeah, that's fine. All right, pass. If we go Zam and don't bench. The problem with just going Zam is they, like, what if they just give themselves a two-card hand, right? Then Zam's doing 40 damage and we just get bodied. You can't just do that, right? Like, we have to do something else. They could also just knock the Zam out, right? Oh, they're weak to Psychic. That is nice, they're weak to Psychic. Sure, sure, sure. But... You still get what I'm saying. Like, at a certain point, they can limit their hand size, and then Alakazam does nothing. Yes, this Ms. Magius can also hit for 160. Not nothing. Sheesh. All right, I'm getting tusked. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, and the hero's cape. Sure. Didn't need those. Goodbye. I feel like I should be able to counter catch her. And they've only got four cards in hand. So I'm doing 160 damage. It's not a knockout. But if I Iono, then I will be taking a knockout. Because I'm doing... Oh, yeah. That's broken. Okay. Ultra Ball. Don't need those. I don't know. Need an energy. Hmm. Okay. Gonna have to find the energy. Judge seems kind of okay. Just need an energy here. All right. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I 
I'm losing it for sure. Yep. Man, this is where we're at. We're attacking with Radiant Alakazam in the Tusk matchup with our Miss Magius deck. Undoubtedly, this is probably the hardest you've ever seen Radiant Alakazam go, though. You probably have never seen a Radiant Alakazam go this hard. Yeah, they have Counter Catcher now. What did you want me to do? Not attack? Just let them mill me? Is that what you, what you, what you want? Huh? Just sit there? <laughs> Tell, the crushing hammers are going to matter. Look at that. The Zam is going crazy here. Instant KO. Crushing Hammer, the bench one. Choo! Yup. Yup. You're bodied, 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 bodied. And then... Yeah, just Mind Ruler. You're mad. I'm not even gonna Iona. I'll save those cards for later. They're good cards. I want to keep them. So now you have to Sada again. Because like they like to get an extra energy down so that they don't have to Sada every turn. So that, that can allow them to use Explorer, right? Oh, they have double turbo. Ah, God, I forgot about that. All right, no, we're definitely bodied, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Got that double turbo. Oh, it's it's so bad. There's no amount of copium can save us here, guys. None. Yeah, there's Sada. Okay. Yep. 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 And they got the jet, counter it. Ah, oh, that's not good. Okay. We are going to have to find our prime catcher. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is such a atrocious matchup. I could uh, you know what? Sure, man. Definitely time to just judge. We got Turo scenario, which isn't going to work for us. this turn maybe they don't have an ancient supporter in their hand you know maybe the judge actually pays off and does something why not attack with the beebs I'm winning I can't. Reversal doesn't work. I'm winning. <laughs> Isn't it sad? Does it feel like I'm winning? Does it? No. No, it doesn't. Pass. 
Pass? Mill one? Oh, yeah, let's go. We're so back. I'd like you all to help me get the message out, <laughs> message out there. <laughs> They've only got a two-card hand, though. Yeah. It's not great. Okay, let's... Let's just Arvin for the Prime Catcher, right? Before it gets milled. And I think I'm just going to bring this thing up. And Mind Ruler. Keeping the energy on Bieber is good because then I can always just retreat it. I didn't have... See, yeah, yeah, here we go. We're chilling, we're chilling. Okay. So now they're stuck. Turo this... This guy. <laughs> Painful spoons. Two hundred damage. Okay, we're close. Come on. Come on, folks. We can do it. Gotta believe. They're promoting the Radiant Greninjas because they don't have squat. That judge really hurts. No, not the gear, dude. Not the gear. Oh, they're totally going to find something off that. They have a choice. Oh, yeah, there's a soda. This is bad. Uh oh. They're going to be able to mill four. Yeah, that's not good. Hopefully my rod lives. That'd be nice. Be great. Ugh. Okay. Just Iona. Rod. And I've got Judge, too. That's pretty good. Honestly. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. Look alive, deck. Look alive. They got Explorer's Guidance. They might not be able to do it. If they stick something with the Counter Catcher, I guess if they stick Bieber L twice with Counter Catcher. That could lose me the game, in which case, maybe just, maybe the Bieber L was a mistake all along. What if they just kill me here? <laughs> See? <laughs> I resist fighting, but this... Yeah, so they wouldn't kill because I resist fighting. Yeah, so they can't do that. Double turbo won't get the kill. 140 minus 30. It won't... Yeah, they can't. They can't. That's why. The math ain't mathin'. Why is there discard pile glowing? Do I need to answer that question?
Okay, painful spoons. Hold it. We're so close. This could be the one. <laughs> <laughs> Should not have played that Turo. God. Should not have played that Turo. I was floundering when I played the Turo. Should not have played that card. Thank you, Earn Brew, for the sub in the 11 months. Erica's invitation. That's fine. Better than... The Bibrail. I've got one Psychic left in deck, and I think that's it. <clears throat> no. Oh, my God, the Mawile. Okay, they've got five cards in hand. Radiant Greninja will not get there. Do I judge? I think so. Okay. Mind ruler for a hundred. I know. If they have countercatcher tempting trap, we lose. Airy, that's fine. Oh, good, good gravy. I don't think that I can move all eight of these damage counters to the Mimikyu in time. Can I? <laughs> Pass. No, we do not have Turo. I should not have played the Turo. That was my egregious error. Painful spoons. And turn. I have time. It's, it's perfect, right? Yes, because then I draw, move two more, and then I draw my final card, and I win. So we have it. If they bravery charm it, we lose. <laughs> come, on, come on, man. Come on, bro. Yes! This is Sparta! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, here we go. Redemption. Playing against a Lost Box deck. We've got a reasonable enough opening hand. Badoof, Mischievous, Jirachi, and Artisan. Just want to use Artisan to go get a backup Bidoof. That would be nice. Manaphy's in the deck. That's great. And I've got one Miss Magius in the deck, one in my hand. Good stuff. All right. Attach that to Mischievous. Pass to you. And let's see what they got going on. What kind of Lost Box are you playing? Is it going to be Tina? Is it going to be Paradox Box? Well, there's a Cramorant. Sure. Then you get your turn one knockouts with Spit Innocently. They play Roxanne. That kind of points to well, a lot of Lost Box list play Roxanne. Switch cards. That card is very, very troubling for our deck. Do love to see my opponent putting three Confi into play. That's great. Fantastic. And honestly, if they could just knock out this Bidoof, that would be great. Because it needs to get itself out of the active spot anyway, so... That'd be wonderful. Just just clear this thing for me. Get the beaver out of here. No. <sighs> All right. Judge off the top is pretty good. So I think we're going to do that. We'll evolve into Miss Magius and just judge. Save the artisan for after the judge. And... Mischievous... Ultra Ball those, gets Biberel, Artisan for Manaphy, and please let me retreat my beaver. That's all I want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my request was so simple, you know? It really was not, it was not too much to ask. I just, just an energy. It's fine. I got a backup Bieber L. Prime catcher. I'll attach it. All right, go go ahead. Fine. This Bieberel's ready though. Extremely ready. I mean, like so ready. Two switch. <laughs> Man, you love to see it. Why not KO? I can't attack with Tail Smash. I'm not losing yet. All right, let's swing with Cramorant. Cool. Let's go Iono. And then we've got this guy. We've got Vats. And that's pretty much exactly what we need. Great. Devo TM certainly won't need that. Get rid of these. Fail it. Be real again. 
And let's retreat it. Start. Use an eerie voice. Wonderful. Okay. Great. That's what I'm talking about right there. They had their <laughs> they did not see a single card in that hand that they wanted to play. <laughs> did not see a single card in that hand they wanted to play. Just full send. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Buddy, buddy, get this guy. And Iono again. Where's my energy, bro? What you, you know, come on. Come on now. Come on, man. Just the energy, man. Just, you know, just. Just an energy, man. Just, just one, you know? Like, really, I own out a six. That, that's cool. Go ahead, go ahead, man. It's fine. It's fine. Kramer ain't down. Okay. Super dead, actually. Gonna be 10 damage short again? Maybe so. Those counter catchers in this matchup do not matter. I guess maybe I could have not. Yeah, we're fine. Could have not reordered my deck because I know I'm likely to see an energy now, but. We're fine. Now the piece I'm not going to find is going to be the uh, the mischievous. Maybe I should just go tail smash. <sighs> Rough day at the office. Tough, tough day at the office, man. This is brutal. It's cool. Yeah, we got him right where we want him, man. Now yeah, that Confi is not attacking easily. Man, I've missed one turn of attacking, but two? <laughs> two? Two turn. All right, there's the fourth switch cart. Man, I was working real hard for that 30 damage too, dude. Like, come on, man. It's messed up. No, I cannot be the, the prime catcher tail smash angle. Come on. All right, who again? Nobody pass. You got nothing. See? It's just a game of pass. Path pass back and forth. Isn't that a nice Friendly game. Nobody attacks. All right. No attacking. That would be unfair. There we go. Beautiful. I'm going to rod back in these guys. Yeah, great. Okay. Here's Miss Magius. Great. And let's draw some cards. Cool. 
put that thing there. Draw again. This is the worst card in the deck by far. <laughs> but it's fine. There's a lot of bad cards in this deck, to be fair, so... If we win this game, I'm not going to be proud of it. I know I said earlier that we can be proud of our wins with this deck. That's, yeah, not counting this one. There's nothing to be proud of here. Nest ball. Oh, goodness. There's iron hands. Scary. Please don't hit me with the hands. Oh, yeah. The hands is coming. Okay. That's fine. So what do we have to do? We have to draw into our Luxray. You have the vacuum. What a sack. I could crushing hammer away this lightning. That matters. Okay. I could just move move the lightning away <laughs> with this guy. Okay, what do we actually have in this deck? Is is Luxray even in here? Luxray is not even in here. Luxray does not even feel like coming to work today. Sick, man. My rod's not in there either, so this is the only mischievous I have. Oh, I'm going to be nauseous. All right. Well, we're really working with the skeleton crew here. It's a start. <laughs> I, got, I got one more in me bro <laughs> we could evolve this funny one no 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 Oh, yeah, dude. I'm so cracked at this game. All right. And then where should we move the damage counters? Like, what's, like, the game-winning play here? What's, what's like, the what's, the, what's the good stuff to do? If they just Mirage Gate another Lightning, we lose. I think we just keep this thing active and say you ain't got it. We just got to say they don't have it. If they amp again, sure, man. I need this fatty to be stuck. And 
Next turn, I go counter catcher. <laughs> counter catcher, knockout hands. That's our route. Don't boss. Come on, man. You thought that this would be fun, fair gameplay? Oh, get wrecked! Get wrecked! All right. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Okay. Iron Hands does not knock out Radiant Alexander. This is good. I'm doing 80 right now. So we want to Painful Spoons. Probably 20 off this to him. And then we want to swing with Mind Roller. Okay. Put it at 200. All right. Let's go. All right, I take it back. I'm proud of this win now. <laughs> the Alakazam's getting in there. That's how you know this is hard fought. This is hard fought. I know we got the four prize turn lined up. All I got to do is attack with this Miss Magius. It's game over. Let me ask you, who has won the majority of our games? This guy. <laughs> this guy. And not how you think he'd, he would. That's right. You literally lose, bro. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Painful spoons. That's right. How does that make you feel? GG's, bruh. The four prize turn! Let's go! <laughs> Crazy! Ah! <laughs> That does it for the Miss Magius video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. I'm going to be building and playing new Twilight Masquerade decks on stream. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. If you can't watch Twitch, check out the Tricky Gym VODs YouTube channel, where I upload all of my streams in their entirety for you to watch right here on YouTube. Y'all take it easy and have a good one. And uh, like the video, give it some love. It helps. Goodbye.